Hey, what's up guys? Alex here in Toronto's West End neighborhood of Brockton Village and just got out of the Lansdowne subway station which is right where you see that bus is that are running 7 EPA 10 running the 47A to Guns Loop and this is Bloor Street West and Lansdowne Avenue and while it is kind of sunny outside it's also pretty humid and there's a Pretty good chance of uh, thunderstorms once again today. But uh, it seems pretty fine for me to uh, come outside. I was filming some subway trains uh, between Kiel and Dundas West Station. Didn't even realize there's a, or didn't even know there's a, there's a nice small garden that's lined up and you get a good view of it. So I was filming from there as well as that Kiel Station. But uh, I thought I would make a walking video down Lansdowne, probably all the way down to where it ends at Queen Street in the Parkdale neighborhood. And uh, the last time I filmed a walk along Langs, <coughs> excuse me, the last time I filmed a walk along Lansdowne Avenue was over a year ago in July 2022, where I walked from Dupont Street all the way to College Street. For this one, I'm gonna, as I just mentioned, I'm gonna go all the way down to uh, Queen. So today is Tuesday, July 18th, 2023, and it is around 1:25 p.m. And that's pretty much like the typical uh, period of time I'm out filming my walking videos. So uh, I, I also like doing them late afternoon, where uh, it's actually rush hour. Or sometimes in the evening, but um, I, I guess you get a good variety. So we're walking on the east side of Lansdowne. And you want to know how to spell that? Go back to the be go back to the very beginning of the video, where I zoomed out out of the street sign. Song sounds familiar. I'm already feeling some raindrops again. But who, who, who gives a shit? This is a substation. I don't know if it's for lands on subway station. If not, what's the purpose of this being here? Pretty sure um, uh, this this entire stretch all the way down is... Uh, is a uh, residential, but it's still quite interesting though. I believe it's 24 Celsius, which feels like 27, but it is gonna feel like 30 later. So yes, it is still humid. And yesterday I went to Hamilton, which is 61 kilometers west of Tio. It was my first time there in over a year and I wanted to film some walks. So I got three in and one elevator video. I wasn't interested in filming uh, their transit, which is HSR. Their buses seem kind of boring, and also most of them are powered by natural gas, which I'm opposed of. So that, that can be that can be safe for another uh, another video. So and most of the homes here are semi-detached, or if it's like triple. I don't know what you call them, but it's very common to see that here in the old city of Toronto. Here's a standalone house. And Route 47A, as I just mentioned, is going to Guns Loop and St. Clair, taking over a small portion of the 512 streetcar, streetcar although. I think they just resumed service on that, but that's for, uh, that was only for a short while. And then they're gonna halt streetcar service yet again. And, uh, oh yeah, because they're gonna be doing some construction at St. Clair West Station. And that's gonna require the use of shuttle buses, which we haven't seen in, I can't remember how long it's been. But yeah, back to what I was saying about Hamilton. Unfortunately though, COVID has brought out 
a lot of the crackheads and the homeless people out there. And I was kind of worried about my safety when I thought a homeless guy mumbled some something shitty at me. And I thought he was following me, but thank God I lost him. But also, uh, we met uh, Cousin Andrew, who lives there. Yes. We went for coffee together at a place called Relays. And then we uh, filmed a video, a long-awaited one with him. So, thanks to Andrew. I don't know when, we're gonna, I don't know when I'm going to see him again. Because he's a very busy-ass guy, as I already keep mentioning, but... There's a Francophone Catholic school here on the right. And yes, we do have a few French language schools here in TO. By the way, I forgot to mention the 47 is actually one of my old home routes. So if I was going back to Kielsville today, which I'm not, I would just have to take only this bus. But that's if it's only the 47 uh, B or C. Speaking of which, here comes one, and this time it's a diesel. There's a slash. There's a splash pad. 8139. Eventually, all these buses will be based out of Queensway. But if only these damn. Nova hybrids in the in the 7,000 units actually enter service because there's like freaking 30 of them and none of them have entered service yet. Hopefully, I'm, hopefully I won't miss out uh, while I'm in Montreal next week. And yes, I am going back to Montreal, Quebec. This time I'm going to plan to do a lot more there. By the time you're seeing this, though, you might be wondering, oh, where's the Montreal videos? Well, I'm going to be, uh, as I always do, I post my videos on the, on, uh, from the date they were filmed. But that does not, inc but that, that doesn't really uh, combine, like, all the elevator transits and walking videos that uh, I, I got. I still got some walking videos I need to publish that were filmed. Oh, I posted my last walking video of June uh, last night. So now I'm going to be posting walking vids from the very beginning of June as we got a squirrel. He was just sitting on that porch. And now he's coming here. Is he just going to play dead or something? Not play dead, but... Yeah. And he's gone up that tree. The only thing I'm going to be missing, though, is uh, the the light metro system in Montreal called the REM. That's going to be opening two days after I leave, so that's a huge bummer. It was actually supposed to open last month, but the opening day has been pushed to the 31st, so I'm going to miss it by only two days. So that's a big shame. But next year, when I go back, or whenever, it'll obviously be there. Sorry, it'll obviously be there. Sometimes I speak a bit fast, and I really do apologize. I mean, I I I rewatch a lot of my of uh, walkie vids, especially, and sometimes I go a bit overboard. Anyway, so here's hey, we got a fire truck coming. Here's College Street. It actually ends as it merges onto Dundas Street, which is actually right there as well. Now, since I'm already going to have to be waiting for another light cycle, we're going to go over to the west side of Lansdowne. There's a town wings. I believe east of here is also a little Portugal, or is that along Dundas? But this neighborhood, regardless, this neighborhood has a bit of a huge uh, Portuguese population. 
Maybe Spanish as well. Oh, nice Pontiac from the 70s or 80s. I've been seeing a lot of classic cars almost every day. Well, yesterday I was actually watching uh, uh, the Ken Continuum. I, of course, I don't think he... I don't think there needs to be an introduction because I'm sure a lot of you guys know who he is. But he was actually streaming through both my neighborhoods along Eglinton and I wouldn't walk for however he however long he walked on because I know he went from Weston and Mount Dennis all the way to like friggin Young Street and uh, <laughs> I would never do that walk <laughs> all, the, all the way through. But regardless, uh, it was actually, it was, uh, he's been actually making walking videos for five years and I think yesterday was just his fifth anniversary, so again, congrats to you, Ken. I was actually in Kielso when he was streaming, but uh, I kind of went out and say hello, but uh, uh, I, I had gotten back from uh, Hamilton and I was kind of tired and wanted to edit my, uh, the vids I filmed from yesterday, so, <coughs> excuse me, I got that done. But I'm sure, uh, I'm sure we'll uh, run into each other again uh, pretty soon. All right, so I believe now we are entering the the gritty Parkdale neighborhood. Though most of Parkdale is centered, of course, along Queen Street West. I've been to this No Frills a couple times. Now there's the rail corridor. You got three uh, commuter train lines and. Via rail, as well as the Up Express. I ticked off my sunglasses because there's not so much glare from the sun, especially that it's probably raining in, like outside of uh, Toronto and the uh, the burbs. Okay, here's a. Thumbnail moment. That's if uh, this van can get out of, can get out of my way. Yeah, there we go. Good thumbnail opportunity. I gotta ask my mom this, but I believe her aunt used to live down the street from here. Not sure what period, but uh, of course I'm gonna have to ask her. We got a train coming by. And is that a go train? It's not really the best view, but... Oh, it's a via rail. Probably came from uh, Sarnia. But if you're walking, if you're walking down here, it's not a good spot to rail fence. A bit of a shitty view, to be honest. to uh, EPA 10s. By the way, those are the last... Oh, there's an Up Express train. Those are the last... Uh, Orion buses TTC purchased in 2011-2012 because right, af right after that, Orion went out of business. Which was a huge... Uh, which was a huge loss because... Uh, <sighs> When I was, uh, when I was growing up, or around the time I was born, TTC was non-stop purchasing buses from Orion's, for, from Orion, because obviously they were located next door in Mississauga. Nice colorful, colorful art here on your left. I'm sure you guys took notice of it. I believe, I'm not sure, they're pretty much, uh, Okay, that, that, that definitely looks indigenous. Oh, wow. Uh, here on the right, you got some freaking graffiti. But as I was saying, TTC was always purchasing Orion buses. Although, I would have I liked it if they purchased uh, D40LF buses, at least from the 2000s. 
but they just went with Orion non-stop. Look at that, eh? I have to check the setting on this. Because there's so much light, but... I think after this, I'm gonna take the streetcar over to probably just east of Dufferge Street and I'm gonna film a walk through the West Queen West neighborhood. All right, sunglasses are going back on again. It just keeps, it just keeps coming and going, so. All right, maybe I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna cross to the other side. I don't know, but this all depends where the, uh, the streaker stop is because I don't want to have to cross twice, so I'm gonna. I have to point the camera down because there's too many people here, so uh, there we are. Uh, let me just check the. Uh, check my phone here. Hey, that's the Tin Man. Sitting like that. Okay. Uh, let's see where that is. 501. Next one is in uh, 11 minutes, and that is just, that's actually on the uh, the east side, rather. Okay. Makes sense. Actually, because Lansdowne turns into uh, Jameson Avenue. Damn that sky, though. Oh, we got another... Not really a splash pad, but a little uh, wading pool. Oh, nice. Oh, there's kids there. I don't want to film them, so. And there's a fire station. Wonder how many people get awoken by the sirens at night. Pretty sure they get about a few calls per day. Probably, probably performing some means, or it doesn't look so. But that's fire station 426. This is definitely a quieter part of Lansdowne. But it's probably a good five minutes, five to eight minutes away if you live around this like specific area, it may take you a while to get over to Queen if you want to catch the streetcar into downtown. As of now, the 501 has streetcar service, M minus the uh, minus the the off route because of the subway construction. The 501 streetcar runs between Neville Park in the east and all the way to Roncesvilles for now. In September, they're finally going to resume streetcar service on the Queensway and Lakeshore Boulevard. The only thing that is, well, well, the only thing now is that they will become separate routes. So the 501 will end at Humber Loop, which I think is a, is a good thing because it's, a, it's it was the longest streetcar line in the city. And uh, the, the other half will become the 507 whatever. Lakeshore, but there's already a, a streetcar line called the 508 Lakeshore, and that's to resurrect from the dead. So, let me walk past here. I wonder if that's summer school on the left. They're all uh, dressed up in blue. Most of them Blue Jays shirts. Maybe they're going to a Jays game at the uh, the Sky Dome. <sighs> All 
All right, I'm gonna walk a little faster now. We're kind of getting close to wrapping up the video. I could I could film a walk through Queen Street Parkdale, but Parkdale's a little bit on the sketchy side these days, so I'm not really gonna bother. I think West Queen West is more appealing. It's it's uh, more trendy, trendier. It's a buzzing place, and I haven't walked by there in a while. And then I think after that, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. Again, there's too many people. That's why I gotta point the uh, the camera down because I don't want them to get in my shot, even though you have no expectation of privacy in public. So we're gonna end things off in probably uh, two to three minutes. Let me walk ahead of this lady here, keeps catching up. What is this here? Oh, it's a apartment complex. There's another squirrel. Oh, there's two of them. Nice old VW minivan. There's a gray one, but sometimes you can mistake you can uh, mistake them for chipmunks because they definitely look similar. But as I've already mentioned before, Toronto, actually Ontario, has the most black squirrels in the world. Not anywhere else. So. And I like that because the gray ones are just boring. They're very bland. But they're adorable little, little guys, so I can't resist. <laughs> and we're... That kind of surprised me. Why is it so dark? But uh, we're coming up, or down, I should say to Queen Street West, here in Gritty Parkdale. All right, so now I'm gonna cross over to the south side, wait for the 501. Gonna be a short ride, so get this one a break for a little, for just uh, probably like 15 minutes, and then I'll start up again. Some nice restaurants around here, but Parkdale, it's partially gentrified, so... Anyway, uh... Oh, there's a bus. Can I take that bus, or...? It's going... Oh, I think I just missed the light. I can't swear because there's a kid here, but, uh... Oh, never mind, we got it! Yay! But... What I want to know is where the heck is this bus even going? Oh, that's the stop right there. Oh, crap. I thought... Uh, let's see here. To Shaw. It's going to Shaw. Where's the next stop at? Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Okay. So the nearest streetcar stop is literally down there and I just missed the bus, but I don't think it matters because it's a no bus, so. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Again, if, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, stay tuned for more videos. Check out my others as well. And stay safe, stay cool, be well. Peace out, bye-bye.